Check that out, donkey rig fishing right there. That's cool, this guy is legit. Hey, this is Luke with Salt Strong, and this video we're gonna be doing the ultimate color experiment, white versus pink. We have Slam Shady versus Fred. It's on the donkey rig. So this is one rig with two lures, and these lures are gonna be darting all around the water. This is actually a really effective rig. We're gonna be fishing around this island. We have some seagrass, some mangroves, so we could catch a little bit of everything. Redfish, sea trout, snook, flounder. You never know, and we're gonna see which color works best. You might be thinking, hey, the pink's on the bottom, we'll probably catch the most. Don't worry, I'll switch colors after every fish so that we can eventually see if they like the white or the pink. Let's go ahead and get started. Can't wait to see how this goes. Yeah, so this is what I'm doing now is this is all shallow water. We, we have these lures rigged on the 16th ounce weights. These are the Haas Helix hooks, very lightweight. And uh, with this shallow grass, they're rigged weedless. And that way I can uh, basically bounce in through this grass. And when I'm twitching it, it's just bumping it out of the grass. And if, it's, if that happens near a fish, they just can't help but to eat it. This is one of the, the most underrated lures out there. And so again, no telling what we're gonna catch out here today. Possibly even two fish in one cast, you never know. So check out these lures with, now that are coming in. We'll show you how it looks. So these, these two lures are basically just dancing around in the water. So again, they basically go in tandem, one following the other for the donkey rig. And as I mentioned before, absolutely drives the fish crazy. So we're just gonna keep covering ground and we'll pick up once we, uh, once we get our first fish. Oh, there we are, first fish. Looks like we got a snook. <laughs> Let me get the power pole down real quick in case we're in a pocket of them. See if it's on the white or the pink. Okay, I think it's on the pink one. I see the, I see the white thing on the head of it. No, it's on the white. All right. So it actually hit the one up front. Pretty cool. So we got a snook on the top one. The old slam shady. All right, so just hook just came out. Slam shady one, pink nothing. So as I mentioned before, on every cast, we'll just go ahead and check the leader, make sure it's good, or we're in good shape. And we're just gonna go ahead and switch them up. That way we have a fair contest. Yeah, one thing when you're when you're rigging these lures, make sure and you're around a bunch of seagrass or structure, make sure to skin hook these lures like that, very big deal. That is a total game changer where you'll be spending time, you know, more time catching fish than getting snagged on weeds and, and dealing with that. So really, really important. That's the really cool thing about these hooks. These are the Haas Helix hooks where you just screw it on the top, go through the body, poke it out, and then skin hook right on the top. We're ready to go. Let's see if we can do that again. All right, so fish on. We actually came out to a little trout flat the uh, snook and reds up in the shallows weren't cooperating once that sun came up. So, uh, so now we have the trout on the slam shady. So this is uh, this is the slam shape shady. Actually, got beat up by some uh, some pinfish or some puffers right before that. So now, even though the slam shady is on the back, still caught the fish. So slam shady two, Fred nothing. All right, so we're changing this up just to make just to, to make this as fair as possible. We're going to take the tail off of the pink one as well so that they're both the same size. But they're definitely liking the smaller profile. Once that little puffer came in and, and, uh, and wrecked, wrecked that one lure, that's when it started getting the action. So we can slow down just a hair to get that strike and get a full commit. There we are. Can't tell what this is. Oh, this might be a little, little grouper. <laughs> I was not expecting this. So another slam shady catch, that is amazing. All right, so just switched it up again. So now pink is on top. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, so I'm basically on the outside edge of a grass flat. We have a big grass flat over this way and it goes down to a channel right over here. So we're fishing the, the last hump, where, or I should say the, the trough, where it just starts getting deeper, the grass thins out and it gets down to sand. Oh, there we are. When you get on the outside edges like this, you can kind of catch a variety of fish. There's gonna be usually a lot of trout, um, Spanish mackerel, ladyfish, jacks, obviously, uh, pompano are possible. And now we got our second grouper. <laughs> This is very strange. All right, we have Fred. Fred is on the board. So what a cool looking grouper too. 
these are just awesome fish. This is obviously a tiny guy. They get a whole lot bigger than this. Cool blue, blue fin right there. Pretty, uh, pretty neat. There we are, got something. Oh, there's a the trout. There we are. Oh, easy buddy. So yeah, that one had the, that one hit the Fred. So now we are two to three. Fred is ha having a, a late comeback. All right, so those lures are getting pretty wrecked. So I put some fresh ones on. So now we have a full five inch here. We'll see if we can get the bigger fish with the bigger lures. So we'll go right back out, go back out to the deep side. Get the same thing, just let it, it's about five, six feet deep over there. So we're just taking our time, let it sink, start doing our twitches, feeling for that thump. And as soon as we feel the thump, let them have it. Interesting, so with the small ones, I never even got more than three or four twitches. Oh, I just had a hit there. There we are. <laughs> So even the big ones, they're hidden. This one feels about the same size, maybe a little smaller actually. And we're on the Slam Shady. And the trout, yeah, I guess uh, Joel here is mentioning that all the trout seem to be hitting the small, the, the bottom one. Oh, look at that, Puffer got the, Puffer got the top. All it takes is one bite from a Puffer and pretty much any soft plastic gets totally wrecked. So in case you're wondering what a puffer attack looks like, if you ever see a soft plastic that has just a straight cut like that, 100% puffer fish. Those things are terrible. They wreck soft plastics. And uh, fortunately, we've been here for a while and only had that one incident. If, if I start having this a lot, I'll switch to hard bait. They, they can't wreck the hard baits like skinny lippers or, uh, or weedless spoons, something like that. Um, but yeah, when you see that in your plastics, know that puffer fish are in the area and be careful with soft plastics. So one tip is that we have a crosswind. I cast a little bit crosswind. When doing that, it's best to have your rod tip down for the retrieve. That way you just take the, the wind out of the equation where the wind's not gonna be bowing out the line. I could, you can feel strikes better, a whole lot better when the, when the line is on the water. Oh, and you can get better hook sets, even though I just missed that one. Oh, there we are. Got to oh, I missed him. But yeah, it's a, it's a big deal having the rod tip down, especially when using lures like this that don't have a lot of water drag. If that wind is, is pushing the line, it basically just keeps those lures riding high in the water and uh, you won't catch nearly as many fish. See if we can get revenge on that fish. So cast it out, straighten the line out before the line hits the water. And now, oh, I already have one on. <laughs> there we are, there's a better trout. Now, so we have, a, we have our full lures on. Better trout here. Let's see which one it's on. Oh, I have two fish. Oh, I have two fish. I thought it'd happen sooner or later. Two, two solid trout too. Check this out. Donkey rig fishing. Legit double trout there. <laughs> that is awesome. That is real cool. All right, let's get these guys up. And wow, this one's actually proper. Let them. Check that out, donkey rig fishing right there. That's cool, this guy is legit. So the Fred doing a, this color contest and Fred got the big one. Slam Shady still hooked up. That's the benefit of using donkey rigs where you can have more than one fish in one cast. Really cool, solid trout. If we were keeping trout today, this would definitely be a keeper. Let him go. And then this guy, let him get bigger as well. Oh, there we, there we are, got something. Ah, oh, small guy here. Well, we are on a good bite out here. And again, that's the good thing about these, these flats. When you find the fish, you oftentimes find a lot of them. Little fellow, that was on the uh, Slam Shady. So now we're Slam Shady six to Fred at three. All right, just hooked up again. Let's see what we have. Single trout on the Slam Shady. Saw a little fish. All right, so we have time for one more cast. We have Slam Shady on the bottom, Fred up top, and we have the full lures now. See if we can get another, uh, another nice one. But yeah, what we've seen though, is that just like usual, you know, if you have a good color, they're gonna work. Both of these colors have proven to, to be good. Slam Shady definitely had the advantage. It's currently seven to three, if I remember right, with multiple species. And, and the Slam Shady definitely uh, definitely seemed to have oh, the, the top, oh, I just missed one. Slam Shady definitely seemed to have the, the top 
the, uh, the top hand, if you will, as far as getting strikes. However, again, both of them worked. It's really about, about finding fish. So if you're not catching any fish, if they're not catching any fish at all, it's usually more about the spot than the lure color. So just want to throw that out there. And that's really what our Insider Fishing Club is all about, is that we help you find the spots. We have software uh, called Smart Fishing Spots that'll actually point, oh, that'll actually point out the, uh, the zones to go to. Uh, we're gonna close with the dinker on Slam Shady. So now we have eight to three. But yeah, Smart Fishing Spots, it'll, it'll literally point out the spots that are most likely gonna have the most feeding fish. This, if you're wondering, this was highlighted for this time of day. Um, and it's really about, again, it's about helping you find the fish. And then also, as far as lures and tackle, you have everything at at least 20% off. The only thing in our tackle store that isn't at least 20% off are reels. But for reels, we get free line, free spooling of the line, and we ship it for free. So a lot of members actually save enough money to more than cover their dues simply by buying the tackle that they're already using. As far as the gear, here, as I mentioned before, we're using the Slam Series Jerk Shads. One is the Slam Shady color, the other one's Fred. They're both rigged on the Hoss Helix hook. If you're gonna do this type of donkey rig, as you see, these lines will be hitting each other a lot. So very important to be weedless. So that's why I love these Hoss Helix hooks. They are very weedless. That lure is right on the top of it. It's not gonna get snagged. I didn't have a single snag this entire, probably two, three hours of fishing. And, uh, and as you saw, it's just, uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, one of the very few rigs that it's not uncommon to catch two fish in one cast. And I'm very fortunate that it happened today. So as far as the line used, in case you want to tie these up, we actually have a, a demonstration on, on exactly how to do it, but it's just 20 pound Andy Mono, regular Andy, we, we tie it up, it just, it's just take a second. We'll put, make sure to put a link down below to that video. And then the main line is just a 10 pound braid with a medium power 7.6 fast action rod and a 2,500 size reel. This combination is excellent for the flats like this. Even if we hook into like a, a nice size cobia, uh, we, can, we can still handle it. This, this holds a ton of braid. And, uh, and as long as you're using good knots, this, th this, this light tackle can catch surprisingly big fish. So any questions at all, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you again soon.